Hey, what's up guys? We're doing another Q&A for you today. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about figuring out my factory wattage of my OEM car stereo and choosing speakers. All right guys, so let's kick this off and get started. This question is from Redneck27 off of YouTube. And uh, I love the username. Uh, basically, real quick, it says, if I'm replacing my door speakers on a stock stereo, how do I figure out the wattage of my stock amplifier to purchase the correct speakers? Well, in my opinion, there's probably no point to actually sit there and try to figure out what your factory wattage is of your car stereo. If you had an amp dyno or you wanted to buy like an AMM1 and you really wanted to meter it and you wanted to spend the money, my hat's off to you. They're cool pieces to have. Um, but realistically, most factory car stereos are probably gonna put out anywhere from 10 to 15 watts for like a base model system. If it's amplified, sure, it could probably be upwards of 40 watts at the most RMS. Um, of course, you know, keep in mind some factory systems even use a two ohm speaker versus four ohm. So that's gonna be important to know what you have uh, when choosing it. But the biggest key thing is really not to look at that little piddly 15 watts. Uh, because as you do your research, you're gonna find there's probably not gonna be a lot of speakers that are 15 watts RMS. Um, they're probably gonna be a, a bigger number, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100, etc. cetera. Um, and while that can look great, uh, there can be some disadvantages to going with a speaker that's not very efficient and that requires a lot of power. Um, when you're going with an aftermarket speaker, one of the biggest go-to speakers that I always recommend it's a real affordable and they sound really good is the Infinity Reference. Uh, that's just one, there's others out there uh, that you could look into. One of the biggest reasons why I like it, the sensitivity on that speaker is really high. When you're looking for a good speaker, I like to find something like 90 dB or higher. Infinity References on most models are 93 dB. Super sensitive, efficient speaker. Uh, they're actually, uh, most models, depending on the size, uh, is an example, they're six and a half. Um, is actually rated at 60 watts RMS per speaker. Um, so 120 watts for the pair. Um, however, if you look at the recommended power range from the manufacturer, they recommend power anywhere from 10 watts to 100 watts RMS. So that's a perfect speaker to go with a factory system. Or if you even want to start with a factory now and you plan on upgrading later, you still could actually do an uh, aftermarket amplifier or an aftermarket radio to add more power and those things will even really sound even better. So that's why in most cases you typically will notice if you ever just replace just the factory radio only with an aftermarket radio, most aftermarket radios are putting out anywhere from like 17 to 20 watts depending on the brand. Um, and that's the reason why when you pop in your aftermarket radio, you go, man, this sounds so much better. Well, one, it's cleaner, and two, it's a little bit more power than what the factory radio offered. Not by a lot, but just that little bit of power, you know, going from, let's say, like 10 watts to 20 watts, you're gonna notice a difference in performance. So those are the things that I recommend. I wouldn't be so stuck on, does my radio put out 15 or 20 watts? Really spend the time and look at the hardcore specs on the speakers look at the sensitivity, look at the recommended power range from the manufacturer. Also, uh, with uh, you know someone like Infinity, where a lot of their speakers are a two ohm nominal impedance, that actually can be helpful uh, because let's say your factory stereo put out 10 watts at four ohms, it more than likely is gonna double its power at two ohms. So you're gonna actually have a little bit more power. And this really becomes important if you've got a factory system that actually has OEM two ohm speakers. Because if you don't pay attention to that, and let's say your factory system uh, has a two ohm speaker and you go to a four ohm, now your factory system with a four ohm speaker is gonna put out half the power. It's not gonna be as loud, it's not gonna sound as good. It's almost gonna seem like a big downgrade. So anyway, uh, once again, thank you for the question. Make sure you subscribe, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm Alan with Sonic Electronics, I'll see you next time.